Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to 2020. So today is going to be the first video of the year. So first video in 2020. I thought we would play with some new makeup. Every time I get new things that I want to try in a video, I kind of like put them aside. So until I'm ready to film using them. So I have a few new things like um, Ben got me the P. Louise base for Christmas. So I'm so excited to try this. He wasn't sure what color to get. So the lady that was helping him suggested shade number two. So we are gonna test this baby out today. The color looks like skin tone. I also have um, the Tarte face tape foundation. I've used this a lot of times on other people, but never tried it on myself. So I'm keen to try that. That is what she looks like. I'm just gonna take them out of the boxes so it's easier when we come to that part. I also have a few eyeshadow palettes. I have the Jaclyn Hill palette, which maybe I'll make a video, a different video using that because I really want to use the Carly Bible palette. And I also have like a Makeup Revolution Chalk Chip palette, but let me know if you guys would like to see just a video using like all drugstore affordable makeup because I can definitely use this in that video. I can't remember how much this cost, but I feel like it was like $6 or something. And when I swatched it in the store, it was super pigmented and really buttery. So we'll save that for another video. I also have um, this pigment set from Inglot. So shout out to everyone that used to watch Powerpuff Girls. My sister Carly got me this for Christmas and it is so cute. Um, so you've got Blossom, Buttercup and Bubbles in there. So we might try that today as well, depending on what look we get in here. I've already taken the brush out of here, but this is what the inside of the Carly Bible palette looks like. And I also have a new mascara. So this one, is one that I got inside a Welcome to Wellness box. Um, I think this was in the spring box because I don't think it was in the summer one. Um, I've never even heard of this brand before. It's Mana Kadar Beauty. And this is a step three perfect bloom volumizing mascara. So let's test this out and see what it's like. The packaging is really interesting how it like looks like someone's just gone like that. I also have the It Cosmetics Superhero Liner. I don't know if we'll do liner today, but if we do, we'll, we'll use that. So let's just get straight into the video. I'll zoom you guys in just a little bit so you can see a bit better. I'm just gonna like grab all the brushes and put them in front of me. I'm gonna start with the P. Louise base. I'm so excited to try this. Should I use a brush to apply it? I will use a brush and see how it goes. And then I always see people using a brush to apply this. This is like a Zoeva concealer blender brush. But I feel like you could just apply it with your fingers as well. Right away, I feel like this is a little bit more creamy than the Anastasia eye primer I normally use. I feel like they are very similar in terms of like the coverage, but obviously with the P. Louise base, she ha they have a lot more shade variety. So for people with deeper skin, the Anastasia one will still work when you put shadow over it, but it will look hella weird at first. This is actually so nice. Like I feel like it looks like more um, like hydrated than when I use the Anastasia primer. I love trying new makeup guys. Like it's one of the most exciting things playing with something new. And I feel like when you get it as a gift as well, it's kind of a little bit more special because someone has like thought of what you would like and Got it for you. That's really pretty. So now that we have our primer down, let's dive into the Kali Weibull palette. Like I wanna do something with the warmer tones in here. Like I feel like warm tones is what everyone goes to though. So yeah, let's go for the warmer tones and then I might do like another time I can do a look using 
there's more purpley colors. We're gonna go into this shade here called Chai. So what are some of your goals for 2020? Like, what are you most excited about for the year? What are some things like you're looking forward to or ways that you wanna challenge yourself in the new year, a new decade? These shadows are applying really nicely on top of that base as well. I like the blending, blending, blending really well. So at the start of every year, now that it's 2020, I want to talk about goals. So at the start of every year, I normally like set myself some goals. So I'll sit down and like have a cup of tea and then I'll write out some like things I want to accomplish in the year because I feel like it's a good way to kind of stay on track for what you want to do and it kind of helps to keep you a little bit more accountable in a sense because you've written them out, you've put them out into the world so you're more likely to accomplish them and I feel like it's really important to set goals for yourself because if you don't have a target, how are you meant to hit it, you know, like it's important if you want to achieve something that you set a goal. So like some of my goals this year are, are like obviously to grow my channel and continue to create more videos. I do want to like get better at editing. Like I feel like I've gotten so much better since when I first started. Everything comes with practice and like I obviously kind of started up my YouTube channel. Well, I did start up my YouTube channel last year and that was one of my goals actually for the year is I wanted to start making videos and I wanted to be more consistent with posting to Instagram, which I did do in like the first half of the year. Um, but I don't know, I'm terrible with Instagram. Like I just feel like it's really hard to um, really like write up the caption, put the post up, all of that. Like it's something again that I want to focus on this year um, and I'm started getting back to my two a week upload schedule for YouTube which is really good. Now I want to go into this shade here. I think this one's called Bowie or Bowie. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I've started slowly getting into my two a week upload schedule. So Mondays and Fridays, like I was doing really consistently since I started my channel um, last year but obviously towards the end of the year when I got sick with bronchitis it really put me behind in editing and I had actually filmed so many videos that I had planned to like put up for while I was away in Bali but I just did not get any time to edit them at all and for November last year I wasn't putting videos up as consistently as I had been because obviously editing travel videos when you have so much footage it's really was like a challenge to kind of separate it all into an order of when we did things but I'm excited to get all of those videos out for you guys we did vlogmas which was great and Obviously doing that we were editing and filming every single day, but it was split up between me and Ben's channel Between mine and Ben's channel, which was really helpful to kind of share the editing load and we definitely Enjoyed doing vlogmas and we're gonna do it again next this year now. I want to go Into this shade here called Moo. It's like a really pretty metallic gold That's really metallic. That is so pretty. If any of you guys have tried the ColourPop, got, was it Strike It Rich palette? That gold one, let me know if you love it because I was watching a video today and it looks so beautiful. Like, it kind of looks like the Natasha Denona gold palette, but not as like bronzy gold. And it's obviously a hell of a lot more affordable. So let me know because I like, I shouldn't, I'm trying not to buy as much stuff. Like I don't buy all that much makeup anyway, but 
I like to try new things. Let me know, is it worth it? Is it not? My eyes twitching. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, it's so annoying. Just intensifying that color on the outer corner of my eyes again. I wanna make it a little smoky. And then I'm gonna use the other side of this brush and I'm gonna go into this color here called My Angels. It's like a really sort of bronzed pewter shade. And I'm just gonna put that on the edge here. Hmm. I feel like it's not blending exactly the way I want. It doesn't look bad, but oh my gosh, my phone is going off. Hmm. I feel like we need to add some liner, like just something along the lash line because I just feel like it looks a little bit naked. So let's dive into this eyeliner. We'll test it out, see what she's like. The packaging looks exactly the same as the Superhero Mascara from It Cosmetics. And it's a brush tip, which is really cool. It actually like applies so easily. I don't know if you guys can see how like easy that went on. So that eyeliner went on really easy. I like that it's a brush tip and it doesn't didn't like skip or anything. So I'm gonna keep testing that one out. It's a very similar sort of brush tip to the um, the Anastasia one, but I not the Anna, very similar brush tip to the Kat Von D tattoo liner, um, but it didn't skip at all like the Anastasia. This one has like that bouncy cap. I don't know if you guys can see for focus, um, just like the Kat Von D one does to help bring the fluid down to the bottom again. Okay, let's test out this mascara. So this is what the packaging looks like. Oh, it like looks like a huge fiber mascara made in the USA. No, designed in the USA, made in China. I'm scared. I don't really like fiber mascaras um just because they scare me like i feel like they're gonna get my eye it's a very interesting formula like it's not dried out but it's not like super wet like a normal mascara is i don't know what do you guys think that's like pretty much two coats and I feel like it's it's made them like decently long, but I feel like it hasn't made them like that thick for being like a volumizing mascara, but I don't know, maybe it's meant to be like a more natural sort of looking mascara. But I feel like it's like really made my eyes really open, but it's not like, they're not super thick, my lashes from the mascara, so I think that if you are somebody that wants like a volumizing mascara that gives you volume but doesn't, um, that's not like a really clumpy volume mascara, you might really like this. I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Mascara is one of those things that's so personal. So yeah, I'm still undecided on this, but let's continue on with the rest of the makeup. For primer today, I'm going to be using this Marc Jacobs coconut face primer oh the stick has come off this is just like a nice hydrating primer because that foundation we're using it's still hydrating but it has more of a matte finish i want to make sure my skin is really well hydrated beforehand i really like the colors of this eyeshadow when i look at it i feel like it looks different in person than I can see on the viewfinder. Really nice, really nice. So now we're going to go in with the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. This is in the shade 12N Fair Neutral. So far it looks like it might be a good shade for me. I'm gonna take a beauty blender to apply it. And 
we are going for that full coverage glam today. Uh, after I finish filming this, I need to go get my nails done. And then I am going to go to the gym later on too. So speaking of the gym, that is another one of my goals this year is to get back into the gym. We were going really consistently um, before we went away to Bali. And then when we came back, we were going pretty well as well. But obviously when we started getting into Vlogmas and like the Christmas season and stuff, we started running out of time just with work and whatnot. Um, and Ben was working like a lot longer hours and my shifts are always different at the job I currently have. So sometimes it was easier to go than others, but it's a new year, a new day. And I want to become like stronger and learn some new exercises and then just also feel like more energetic and everything. I don't know. I feel like when you go to the gym and at first like it makes you a bit more tired but then after a while you start to have a lot more energy from it so I really want to get back to going every day. I was watching um, a video from Jessica Braun on YouTube and she was talking about some of her goals and one of her things with working out is following a thing where you work, you don't go more than two days without working out or going to the gym. So it's never like hard to get back into it. And that's very true because even if you worked, even if you worked out every second day, you would still work out like three to four days a week, which is still a really decent effort. For concealer, I don't have any new concealers to test out. So we're just going to go in with the Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Neutral. With this concealer, it's so full coverage that you don't really need a lot either. So, yeah, so with the gym, that is one of my goals. Um, if you guys have any like tips or anything, or if you can suggest like any people to follow on like Instagram or YouTube for like um, workout ideas, I really like working out with um, the resistance bands. My sister Chloe actually got me like a set of the fabric ones for Christmas, and they are so 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 much better than those rubber ones because they don't slip and they don't roll up into themselves, which I love. I did a workout with one of them the other day and it's, it worked really well. So I already follow Sarah's day. I don't really do any of her exercises at the gym. Maybe I should, but if you guys can suggest any other people to follow for like workout inspo, comment down below. For a setting powder today, I'm just going to go into the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. I like this one because I feel like it gives like a really smooth finish. And I'm just going to apply that with my Beauté Blender. Alright, now that we have our eyes, our foundation, let's dive into another new product. So this one here was one thing that came out from Tarte for their holiday collection. It's their finger foil face court. Actually, I don't know if this is just for holiday, but it came out before Christmas. So I saw this and I was like, I need it. The packaging standard Tarte has like really cool, like glittery front. And then this is called their finger foil face quad. Yeah. So you can use this on your eyes as well. Um, this is what it looks like. It's not really picking up on camera how shimmery these are, but I think that I want to try and use one of these as a highlight. So I'm going to take my Anastasia highlighting brush and we're going to go into... So before the camera battery decided to really die on me, I was about to say we're going to use this shade in here as a highlight on the face. 
So I'm gonna take my Anastasia highlighting brush and dip into that. I don't really feel like this is really that nice of a highlight for the face. These would be really beautiful on the eyes because they're so metallic. Like, let's add some of the gold to the inner corner. Like you can see how metallic that is on the eye, but on the face, I just feel like it doesn't really work because it kind of gets like a little bit chunky. I don't want to use that on my face. I want to dive into... Okay, let's use this. So this is the Anastasia Unreasy Highlight and the reason that prompted me to go into this palette well, into this highlight is I was actually on scrolling on Instagram as you do and my friend Jess shared one of Anreezy's posts and she's coming out with a eyeshadow palette with Anastasia it looks so cool as well like I really I didn't buy the Jackie Aina palette just because I don't know the colors they were really pretty but I'm like I don't need it I used to be like really adamant about collecting all of the Anastasia palettes but I don't know lately they've just brought out so many and nobody needs that much makeup let's top that one off with the white in the glow palette there just to make it really shiny but another thing I really want to work on for 2020 is to not spend money like on things I don't need because it's really easy to get caught up in the hype of like, oh, this is like, this is come out that's new or like, I don't know. I feel like the beauty industry is really good at that. I'm just going in with this bronzer. Um, the beauty industry is really good at making you feel like you need newest things that come out, but nobody can use, like, even though I don't have, I have a lot of makeup, like, I'm used to just have, like, a makeup that would fit in a makeup bag, and I think I talked about this in a previous video, but I can't use all of the stuff I have, like, it would take me so long to finish it all. So like I don't really need to buy any more new stuff, but like when new things come out, you want them. Like it's exciting to play with new makeup and obviously I'm making this video all about new makeup. And one of the reasons I started my channel was to be able to like teach you guys new things or like I have really easy access to a lot of these products. So for people that were like me when I was like, growing up or even when I like first started like really really getting into makeup really heavily I didn't have like money to be able to like buy all of the new things that came out all the time and sometimes when you really really want something and you buy it it's not what you thought it would be so you know I think it's really cool that YouTube has come in the direction that it has where you can look up a review on a product um, and see people trying it on so you know whether or not it's going to work out for you. For blush today, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Gold Rush, my favourite. You end up with like so much stuff that you probably don't need, but you want. I'm rambling, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to go into an old favourite for my brows. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Brownie in Soft Brown. I actually forgot how much I love this brow pencil. It's so nice. So in my mirror that I have behind me, I just fix the lighting because I feel like it's making me look really washed out. I also want to take my coffee cup, like my reusable coffee cups with me more often because I haven't really, I actually don't think I've bought any takeaway coffees this year so far. Um, I've been trying to be really good and not get them like when I'm going to work and stuff because it like it's just a waste like I can make coffee at home or I can make a coffee at home to take with me somewhere I don't need to like just buy them because I I feel like it 
because it's a waste of money as well. And the coffee cups can't even, you can't even recycle them because they have the plastic inside. So that is one of my goals. Take my keep cups with me in my bag. So if I want to get a coffee, I can get it made in the keep cup. All right, our brows are on. Let's go back into this palette and add some shadow to our lower lash line. I'm going to go into that shade Chai and take that along my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a small more defining brush and I'm going to go into this shade here called Bowie. And I'm going to take that right up to the lower lash line. Just sort of on the outer third. I'm going to add some mascara to my lower lashes now. And now we just need to add a little lip color. So for my lip, I'm going to use this Dior lip liner. This is in the shade. 593 brown fig. So this lip liner is like a very like 90s grayish brown nude, which I'm feeling. And then I'm gonna go in over the top with this Glam Glow Plump Rages gloss. This is in the shade Lusty. I don't know if I've ever used this. Test her out. It's like a metallic gloss. So that is the end of this look, guys. So I am really liking the foundation on my skin as well i think like it looks really nice and even though it's matte it doesn't feel really really dry i am obsessed with the p louise base already we'll see how it wears but i have good vibes from this and i'm excited to keep using it i think i will do another tutorial using this made with the jaclyn hill palette and we can do a cut crease testing out this product for the mascara, I'm still a little bit on the fence. I like it on the lower lashes because it does make them look full, but it doesn't make them clump together. So I think it's really nice on the lower lashes. But where for the top lashes, as a volumizing mascara, I feel like there are better ones out there, but I still didn't mind it. I'm going to keep testing it out because sometimes, you know when you get your mascara and you open it and use it and then a couple weeks later it's different? I might like it more then, so we'll see. Um, and then the um, Kali Bible Palette. This is this blended really nicely. The Anastasia Formula. The Anastasia Formula is one that I really personally love. I thought I would like this anyway before I used it, but the colors are really nicely. They blended together really easy. I actually really like how this look came together. Like especially the eyes. I feel like. Um, it looks very like sultry 90s vibes. This palette for the face, I would say pass, but if you want it for the eyes, I think it's definitely a good one. The Kali Bible palette was limited edition, so I don't know if you can still get it. If you can though and you like the way it looks, I would say it's definitely a good palette. Otherwise, um, one with similar colors to this would be the Soft Glam palette. Other than that, the last thing to do is to set I make up in place and I'm going to use this Morphe setting spray. The scent on this can be a little bit strong. So if you are sensitive to fragrance, maybe, I don't know if the regular Morphe one has a scent to it, but if it doesn't, maybe offer that instead of this. Otherwise it is a really good setting spray. It keeps my makeup on all day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit of a random chit chat sort of goals for 2020. Um, if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos. We have a very busy first half of the year with so much travel coming up. So make sure you're subscribed to Ben's channel as well so you can watch our travel vlogs. 
um, when I go to France in April with Cordelie, I will be vlogging that whole experience. I'm so beyond excited for like to live my best bougie life. So make sure you're following along. Otherwise, all of our other trips in like February, March, and then the rest of our time in France will be over on Ben's channel. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to leave some of your 2020 goals down below. What is something that you're excited for this year? What is something that you're working towards? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.